Hello, I'm Edge Lissim, and welcome back to Planet Base, where we're trying to expand slowly, carefully. Uh, who am I kidding? It's me. Obviously, we're not expanding slowly and carefully. We're trying to do it as fast as possible. Uh, and it's probably going to have dire repercussions. So, we're building a new airlock, and then we'll just expand this way and get down here, and then we'll be able to build a little star ports and uh, all that jazz. Should be pretty helpful. Now, I am thinking that we need to put an oxygen thing in next because this is starting to get so far away from the oxygen generator down here that we are having issues with the flow of oxygen. It's just taking quite a while. So, we'll see. Got a lot of food stockpiled, though. Uh, at least we can delete this storage area now. It's got nothing in it. This control center we need to keep. Until we can build the new one down here. Um, the alternative is to have two control centers. One that, you know, can do all the civilian -y stuff. And one that does uh, all the all the spy checks and stuff. I don't know what you call them. Checkpoint-y stuff. Uh, but firstly, oxygen. I want a big oxygen generator over here. Yay! Glad they're actually collecting this stuff up now. Oxygen's a little bit iffy in here. It's at 21%. I mean, it's not like it's dreadfully iffy. It's down 1%. But it shouldn't be that low. Even though it's directly next to the oxygen generator. It's because the oxygen generator is trying to go all the way over here. So, we'll see. Need one more and one more. So much food lying around. <laughs> We're at 20% almost, and uh, most of that is food. It's something that we'll have to keep an eye on, because if food starts to overfill, we're going to have problems. Build, build my pretties. Now, the good thing of doing this means I can invite more people into my base, because we now have more oxygen. However, there are a couple of things I have to be aware of. Firstly, uh, the amount of water being supplied. I think we're okay, but got to bear that in mind. Could be something we'll be tight on in future. Secondly, the fact we only have one connection here still worries me. That should be something that we should probably clamp down on. Yeah, if we connect these two together. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Uh, because if this connection got hit, power would go out. No one would be able to get out the airlock. We'd be in trouble. So now, two connections to power, we should be okay. And of course, this is a really cheap connection. It costs one steel, which is fine. We're actually getting a little bit low on steel, but it should be fine. What are you trading? Construction bar and materials. Honestly, I don't need any of those. Dismiss. What I am going to do is change... Landing permissions to colonists and no one else. And I might have to start getting guards. The thing is, I don't have any guns yet, so I'm a bit iffy about inviting guards in. We'll see. Because now we can support 50 people with oxygen. Of course, we can't support that many people with our food supply. Uh, we can, actually. We've got a lot of food. We can't support that many people with the amount of dining room we've got. So let's put in a second table. Can I get in a second food machine anywhere? No. That's fine. We've got enough water fountains. I'm actually quite happy with that. Beds is going to be our issue, I think. Like how much are we up to now? I've got three steel, four... No, that's not really enough. Let's be honest. It's not really enough. Just a lot of stuff hasn't been shifted. Like, we've got a load of stuff over here just lying around. It hasn't been shifted up here yet. In fact, it's actually starting to degrade.
I might just deprioritize that mine temporarily, just to try and get people a bit more focused on general tasks. And maybe it's worth putting in a second spares workshop. Our storage is low. Mm, make it through the night. We'll make it through the night much longer. But we'll be fine for now. So I have to bear in mind. Seriously, someone collect the bloody starch. Or that steel. The metal, actually, it's metal down to poor. Hmm. All right, let's check our stats. Uh, charts. We are getting full on power, it looks like. Um. Just more power capa storage capacity needed, I guess. Which is, of course, steel. Which, of course, I don't have. Ooh, close. I'm going to temporarily deprioritize the biodome, just so that maybe the biologist will do a little bit extra, like moving a lot of the stuff that we've got lying around. Like, actually, look at these onions. They're just actually not getting moved to the point that they're poor. Like, just stuff isn't being moved. That's our issue right now. I'm actually going to deprioritize pretty much everything. Hopefully some will shift something. Now, of course, a lot of our, you know, produce is being used to make spares and to make medicine, but that's fine, right? That is actually stuff that's valuable to trade and it's useful to us. So I'm perfectly happy with that being a thing. Just, you know, it's getting a little bit slow. I'd like to be able to have a bit of, uh, you know, stuff being actually shifted into the place where it's not going to degrade immediately. Come here. Come here, little drone. There we go. Got you. CNT2. Constructor bot. Poor quality. Excellent. What is this? Integrity. Oh, so is this the thing that goes down and then they just get destroyed no matter what? Like, if this hits zero, it doesn't matter. Whereas the condition is the thing that we need to constantly keep topped up. This one we can't make a difference about, I think. Like, drones will eventually die. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know that. Honestly, didn't know that. I thought people failed to uh, actually heal them in time. Well, you learn something every day. Uh, can I still connect these two? No. Can I connect these two? No. Obviously not. Power storage low. How low, though? I mean, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. It's probably our next thing we have to fix, uh, because if we expand to any more rooms, we're going to need to, you know, have the ability to actually power those rooms. But for now, I don't think we're in a terrible position. Now. Seriously, have we not got anyone arriving? I just thought people would be flocking here. Apparently not. Hmm. Oh well. Looks like we're just going to lose the material outside. Uh, everywhere, frankly. It looks like everything is going to be lost. Because no one can be able to shift it. I'm not as fussed about the loss of food, because frankly we've got tons of it. But it is annoying to see them just ignoring metal. It's, it's frankly, it's, it's a disappointing. It hurts me a little bit inside. Sad face. Hmm. More people would be helpful right now. More people would solve our issue. So, you know, if someone wanted to land and add to our workforce, that would be absolutely brilliant. I, I you know, wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be at all disappointed. Nope. No one. No one wants to join us. Because, you know, we could really do with more workforce. 
Okay. I might destroy some of the food production because right now, I think it's actually being a bit, you know, detrimental to us. People are having to shift it. And, you know, they aren't. Of course, you know, trading, I could trade a lot of it. It'd take ages to trade. Uh, but we haven't seen anyone want to trade either. A poor drone up here isn't being healed. Frankly, I'm very disappointed in my group. Um, you know, just aren't doing any things I want. Oh, they're doing some of the things. They're making spares. That's actually about the size of it. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing. Um, I mean, maybe it's because they're traveling over here from over here and it's taking them time or whatever, but still. Landing paddy is on, right? Yeah, it's on. Just people... Hmm. Sort of disconcerting. I would have very much expected to have some more visitors by now. Hmm. Oh, at least the amount of steel and bioplast is going up. We might start, you know, um, re-enabling some of our priorities. I'm not about re-enabling the mine because it would just fight with that for the amount of workers we've got. Power. Ba, ba, ba. Who destroy we've got. Come on. No visitors? Seriously? This is actually a very long period of time without anyone arriving. I mean, I don't mean visitors literally. I mean colonists. But still. Like, I'm almost getting the inkling that maybe, maybe the game's bugged. Uh, it's probably just I'm incredibly unlucky. But still. I start to worry. Can't help it. Alright, well, let's get started on the next building. After this, I, I quite like a multi dome. I don't think we need a big multi dome. I don't think it has to be a big multi dome. I don't think that that's something that we have to, you know particularly need. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think it's something that would be particularly viable either. Um, I think a medium-sized one will be fine. Because I'd probably want multiple of them just spread around so people can go to the closest one. So let's speed it right down. Put a multi-dome here. And then if we put a cabin... Now, they've done changes to cabins that actually make them decent. They didn't used to be. They actually used to be absolutely terrible. Um, but cabins have been made so that people can switch beds. Like, they don't have a dedicated bed anymore. Uh, where's the Moy Dome? There we go. Whereas, basically, it used to be, oh, you can put, like, five beds in a dedicated, like, cabin that costs a lot of resources. Sure. Now that's five people. Only five people ever use that. Really expensive. Uh, in terms of space. In terms of re resources. Now, it's just basically five single-layer beds. But people get happier than if they're using, say, double-decker beds all crammed in. Which makes a lot more sense. Like, in terms of, like, space... Uh, you'd assume it works a bit like a submarine, you know, short on space, basically, you know, because you're short on resources to be able to build. And on subs, well, many Navy ships, but particularly subs, we talk about hot bunking, where basically you rotate who has the bunk. So if you have three shifts of eight hours each, or whatever, I don't really know how the shifts would work, but I, I know, well, I don't know how they work, I know how they would work. Um, say, you had three shifts of eight hours each, person one gets the bunk... Say you had eight hour shift, right? Eight hour shift, eight hour off, eight hour sleep. Doesn't work like that, but if it did, you'd be sleeping for eight hours. So, person one, eight hour sleep, gets up. Person two takes the bed, eight hour sleep, gets up. Person three takes the bed, eight hour sleep. Repeat. Like, you, you would never have three different beds. That's just a complete waste of space. Three times as many beds. Three times as many personal areas or whatever. It just, no. I... Would not work. Would be completely, like, um... I mean, it'd be wasteful. 
I'm hearing the sounds of a kitten somewhere around, and the problem is I can't see her, so I suspect that she's hiding. Oh, she's actually directly behind me. It's like a horror film. You turn around and there's someone there with a knife, except instead of a knife, it's like, you know, claws. Yes, of course you're out of power. You haven't connected up. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! That's gonna be people going to be really badly injured. At least he turned back immediately. Kevin is oxygen. Well, of course it doesn't. It's not bleeding connected up, is it? Can you get in in time? I think so. I think we're actually okay. Surprisingly, no one's got irradiated in the last couple of episodes. Yes, of course the cavern has no... Oh, for God's sake. This game sometimes is like, Ah, oh, you have no oxygen. Well, you haven't connected it up. Oh, but we've connected it. No, no, you haven't connected... Game. You silly game. Right, and go back to your normal everyday routine. Right, let's start allocating stuff that they can do in here. Treadmill! Treadmill! Exercise bar, because you've got to have an exercise bar, right? It's very good for you. Bench. Bench. Water fountain. Water fountain. Can I get another exercise bar in? Yeah, I can. Awesome. And then we can have uh, a TV. That'd be fine. That's going to co cost quite a lot of resources to get up and running, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Uh, over here, on the other hand. Beds galore. That's going to take so much of our resources right now. Which is annoying because I would quite like some people. I do have colonists enabled, right? I'm just not just like imagining it or something. Colonists enabled. Really weird. Really, really weird. Oh well. Now, let's see if I need more power during the night. Might do. It's gonna be tight. I think we'll be okay, but it's gonna be tight. More power storage has to become the next thing. I will check how the power goes during the night. It might be that we need power storage and a solar panel, but we'll see. We are completely out of like raw resources, by the way. Like, yeah, we got we got nothing. Which is a shame. There we go, that's all complete. Still waiting to get this complete, which involves metal. Metal, metal needed, metal needed. Yeah, so basically waiting for four metal. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. More people to the mines. I'm just going to make sure people go to the mines for now. But at least people are going to be happier. Maybe that'll make them more productive, I don't know. Finally! A biologist. Well, you know, can't get everything you want. But still. God damn it. We'll get there eventually. Oh, right. How's it going? No one using the beds? Well, I guess no one's using these. Oh, now they are. Still no one using these? They'll make you happier. Yay! 
Kevin. Bronte. Zachary. Lovely, comfy, comfy beds. Does it look maybe like slightly large or something? No, I think it's just a trick of the, uh, I was going to say trick of the light. I just think it's perspective. Like these actually probably are the same size, just doubled. In fact, I think that this is probably the same model, just cut off. People really hate having double beds. Honestly, double beds are fun. But, you know, fair enough. I mean, I'm 26. I'm saying, oh, double beds are fun. Obviously, I'm not acting my age. I should be like, yes, uh, double beds are for children. You should not have double. Double beds are amazing. Who am I kidding? Finally, more people. Uh, an engineer. Okay, I was hoping for workers, but, you know. Whatever. Uh, we should, maybe we should start looking into the guards. Uh, no, no, we'll just wait. We'll wait. Uh, there's no point in getting guards right now. If someone attacks us, worst case scenario, we just beat them to death and it'll cost us a load of guys. But I don't think that'll happen. Look, apparently the kitty's trying to activate the DVD player. I'm guessing she's bored and wants to watch something. Do I have a, like, a DVD rated for a one and a half year old cat? I don't know. Power storage critical. Okay, we're actually fine. But it is close. Let's look at the stats. More power storage, right? Because it's flattening out, right? We're reaching our cap. But we could store more, because this could keep going up like that. Kitty, don't attack the DVD player. We need more power if you destroy the DVD player. Um, could keep going up like that, so we could do more power storage. Not a lot more, though. I don't, I don't think we'd get enough back. Worker biologist, excellent. I mean, probably a little bit too hard on the biologist, but hey, still got a worker. I've got so much food. At least I'll be eating some of it. Let's also put in two more of these. And I know they take metal, but it'll mean that we can get more activated at once when we've got a few more workers around. This is going to be expansion we're going to have to deal with for now, and we just need more metal. It's a little bit of a slow process. I would I would give a lot to have a, uh, uh, stab, uh, a stabby stabby drone. What stabby? St what the hell? No, no, not stabby stabby drone. A drilly drilly drone. I would give a lot for a drilly drilly drone. A drilly drilly drone. I don't know. I like the idea of that. I don't know the the acronym just sounds cool. D D D. No. Triple D. Triple D. It sounds like a wrestler. Maybe like a wrestler from Robot Wars. Like cross cross the two shows together. W W R. World Rider Robots. World Wrestling of Robots. That that makes sense. I'd go for that. Oh, you're damaged. More. Medic and... Worker. Yeah, cool. Suddenly people like me again. I don't know why they didn't like me to begin with. Uh, we'll also open it up to traders so that I can start trading all that food we've got. Because my god, we've got a lot of food. Uh, we're up to 76% taken, and it's mostly just food. Uh, that's something we're actually going to have to deal with fairly shortly if we don't stop it. I'm hoping that, you know, the influx of people eating the food is going to help. But I don't know how quickly we can put food in these. Like, honestly, I think we're at our max capacity for how quickly we can ship food into these. Another ca uh, cafeteria down here will help. One more bar. We should be good. All of these are stocked. Maybe not to their maximum potential, but they are stocked. Of course, you know, first thing that needs to be done is we need to have more power collectors. So let's actually put that in now. Ooh, who is it? Who is it? Biologist and an engineer. A lot of biologists. That shouldn't take much. I mean, it costs four steel, one steel for the connection, so five steel. Shouldn't take too long. That's all done. That's all done. Uh, yeah. Standing reached. Your call is known by everyone. 
Awesome. That's nice. Apparently clicking, escape, doesn't get you out of that. You have to press spacebar. It's a little bit of a, you know, I mean, you know, you don't not expect spacebar to be it. But I would like it to be, since it doesn't say on the screen and it's just a next, I would like a variety of buttons to do that. But, you know, whatevs. Is stuff degrading while in here? No. Good. Because it's going to be in there a while. Okay, now. Next task. Once we've built this is to just build a bit more resources. Another... What the hell? Why do... I want to check this. Oh, we've only got 32% biologists. We don't have enough workers. We definitely need more workers. Okay. I'd drop 5% biologists to go up 5% guards. Um... That seems to be sensible in my view. Hello, hello, hello. Well, you know what? I'll trade you food for money. Just so that we've got, you know, less stuff in our storage. That just seems to be uh, something, you know, it would be beneficial to us to actually just have money to be able to trade easily and not to have stuff in our storage right now because we are getting towards the cap. I mean, we're we're almost full, actually. So, yeah, I need to do this pretty damn quickly. In the meantime, just collecting metal. Anyway, I think this is a good place to end the episode. If you liked, uh, please make a like, not subscribed. Please consider subscribing. But until next time, just remember... When I probably will die from, uh, you know, lack of food, starvation, you can say you told me so. And stay shiny.